Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we're talking about uh, vegetative load. In other words, you know, you got your electric fence, and the uh, the thought is you've got to be out here about every couple of weeks, or in the growing season, you're know, keeping all this stuff off your fence. Otherwise, your fence will be dead. Well, this hasn't been cut off of here for probably going on three years. Uh, when the trees get big enough, you know, when they're big, big enough that you can't get up the chainsaw, that's when we take a weed eater out here with a blade on it, and we'll cut that out about every three years. But look at that. I mean, that fence is hot. There's uh, probably around seven, 8,000 volts in there. But again, I use fiberglass posts, good wire, and a big charger. Folks, what shorts your fence out is this touching that without the fence being on. So if you're turning your fence off when you're not on that particular part of your farm, and I used to do that. I had switches all through the farm so I could shut off the power as I grazed forward and put on my power where the cows were at and turn off the power behind me. No, don't do that. Because what happens is once you turn the power off behind you and a weed or a piece of grass goes up and touches that fence, well, then it's sap. It's the green sap that draws your fence down. And if you turn it off behind you, you've got 40 million ground rods growing up and touching that without getting shot. Okay? Every one one hundred thousand of a second is getting shot. Look what, it, look what it did right here. That's a piece of brush laying right on the fence. It killed it. It absolutely killed it. This is a ground wire, so it doesn't anything have hot there. This is a hot wire. Look at that. It's touching it. It's turning it brown. I've seen it kill multiple rose bushes. I mean, it'll grow up on it. It'll just shock that bush until it kills it. It's the sap. So don't shut your fence off. Get a big charger. Somebody tells you you need a, a 8 jewel. I'd maybe go with a 12 jewel because here's what happens. When all that vegetation gets wet in a rainstorm, that's when you need the horsepower. You need a bigger charger. So I like plenty. I, you know, I like using plenty of power. Even in a rainstorm, you come in and touch this. It's probably going to have around 5,000 volts in it. When it's dry, maybe eight to 10,000. So this is something that held me back when I started out. I'm like, ah, that dang electric fence. I don't want to have to be keeping my brush off the fence. I'll be doing that every night. And so now, you know, I don't have to do that. You just got a big charger. About every three years, we go in and get all this stuff off. And then we're good to go for another three years. Folks, this is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a good day.